Hello, can you hear me? David? Okay. David, you're... Dennis, can you hear me? Dennis, can you hear me? I can hear some, some words, teacher, but uh, some, something like it is... Uh, okay. One... What about you, Dennis? Can you hear me? My... Yes, I can. Okay. I okay. think no it's problem. my internet. Okay. Can you hear me with no problem, Dennis? I'm sorry? Can you hear me well? Yeah, but I think that is like breaking up a little bit. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes, it's better. Okay. Hello, Rosa Maria. Hi, good evening. How are you? So good. Awesome. Everything okay? Everything nice? Yes, everything okay. Good. Tomorrow is the last class, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me open my portal. Let me open the portal. Okay. You look different today, Rosa Maria. Sorry? You look different today. Why? Maybe, maybe your, your hair is like more straight. Straight? Yes, your hair is more straight. Yeah, well, I'm, Yesterday, maybe your hair was back. That's why. I don't know. I, I just, I see you different today, but I mean, it's no big difference. I just see you. Maybe you have a different hairdo or something. <laughs> but Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. All right. Mm -hmm. How was your day today? Well, uh, kind of busy, but because there, there is a new procedure in the accounts. Uh, there are people that they, you know, I'm, I work for a sales account, and what we sell is uh, electronic logbooks, these equipment that are plugged in in trucks or vehicles for trucking services, right? And there are some customers, you know, US economies. Uh, hasn't it hasn't been in the good standards uh, like uh, one year ago or more than that so there are some cities or states that they are not uh, they are suffering more because of the the fuel and there are companies that sometimes they close or pause their operations when they want to reactivate the services, now the company has a new policy that in order for the company not lose money, they now make the customer to pay at front for the whole year service. And if the customer got used to be paying on a monthly basis, they felt the difference. 
So what is like a collateral uh, issue and, and, and a collateral problem for us is that less people want to reactivate the service. They of don't course. agree. Mm -hmm. They are starting up again after a post period and suddenly you want to charge them up front and there are other providers. So that is what we are dealing since September the 1st. But always there is a way to speak with the customer if they really got used to this service, how it works, because it's available for drivers and a fleet admin in five different languages. And that helps a lot mm -hmm. um, for their convenience, right? So uh, if they proceed, that's great. Uh, today, I got my first one, my first activation one, close one. And that was what I was fighting with this man, an African man, and he was... Uh, this was an English conversation and he was uh, uh, stating, I don't have money, don't have money. And I was on my end uh, that this policy started just September the 1st. There is nothing I can do. I also try to ask to the billing department if it, there will be a one-time exception for the customer, but they say so. I state in my point, he stated on his point, but at the end, he urgently need to get the service back. So he pay, he decided to pay. So we're dealing with that and, and the revenue goal uh, now is uh, $500 more yeah. than the other month. Yeah. In some way we need to to overcome and, and we I'm pretty sure that I will accomplish my my goal okay that was yeah. my day <laughs> yeah that must be that must be um difficult yeah because you're dealing with a lot of stuff but at the end you need to shit up yourself and make sure that everything every day is different and things are going to work better every day yeah that's <laughs> enough okay that's cool i understand mm -hmm. interesting Mm-hmm. What the about sales you? Is totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. What about you, Dennis? I'm fine. Yeah, I have had um a good day. I just went to San Vicente today because I was selling uh, a part of a motorcycle and I just went there. I had a long time not going to that to that part of the country. So what's good? Actually, uh, something new is I've been watching uh, The Rookie really good. Oh, you did? Yeah, good, huh? I have like five, like I, I have watched like five, five chapters. Episodes. So it, it's good. Episodes. It's yeah. addictive. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I, actually, uh, the... This man is Nathan Fillion, you know. Yes. I I recognize that that boy uh this man uh, from the Big Bang Theory. Do you remember that he appears in in one episode in the Big Bang Theory? He did. Yeah, he did. He so, appears uh, in many shows. I, I I guess I guess, but the 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 one where I remember this this man is is that series, and yeah, since I I started watching the movie, uh, well I I was watching this this I'm sorry this series with my wife, so she approved it. So yeah, she liked it. It's cool, yeah, she liked it. Okay, also. good. So it's good, good, good recommendation. Yeah, and and it's six seasons. I think this month the. The last season starts. Oh, nice! Yeah, I will have. Uh, where a do good you watch time. it? Where and what? Where do you watch it? Claro Video. Oh, you're watching in Claro Video. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you, David? Samuel, how was your day today? Hey, fine. Only teaching and all day and rest in the afternoon. Where do you teach? 
I teach in Neopacto. Where? Neopacto. It's in a school. It's a near the Parque Cotatlan. It's a Christian school. Yes. Oh, okay. And what do you teach? I teach mostly math. But sometimes another subject, like this time I'm teaching English to to 11th grade. Oh, okay. I, you know what? I really, I really, really hate math. I don't I know. Really what? I really hate math. <laughs> I always, always had a problem with numbers. I don't know uh, why. Because uh, the problem is, this, is that the teacher do not explain the, the purpose of math. The purpose of math is not solve no, problems. But but you know, like the pick, the uh -huh, no, so, go ahead. no, but I, I think I have a problem. I forgot the name of that problem, but sometimes I I I I blank. I, I go blank. I get blocked in my head. Yes, by, by the pressure, by the pressure and and uh, but the, the the brain is naturally mass. It's a we have a massive brain and uh, it's something not natural for us to, to come to to get the concept of numbers is, is not a problem. The problem is that, that the teacher wants that you do the problem at the same way every time. Mm -hmm. And that is not that is not the, the, the purpose of the subject because uh, the purpose of the subject is you activate a neural brain in neurons in your brain, a ne neurological networks in, in your brain. That is the purpose. And that is only by thinking how to solve the problem, even though you do it in the wrong way. Yeah. And the, the the reason is that all the for all the history, the teachers wanted you to do the same way. You need to learn the, the formula. You need to learn the method. And that is a wrong way of math. And for that reason, many people hate math. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, I always try to work in something that is not related to math. <laughs> where I don't have to use numbers. I always try like, to avoid. Like, like the most of the people, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, okay, good. So let me see, let's see. I don't know why my portal's not opening. Can you excuse me one moment, please? Yes, yes, go Thank ahead. You. Hold on, please. Okay.
Okay, class, sorry. Class, can you open your portal? Yes. Sure. No, I... And open mine. Okay, there you go. Now mine is open. Okay, so yesterday we were doing just the final um of how it's gonna be. Do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Okay. Let me say one thing. Let me check. Okay. Let me check. So, what does fluency refer to? Okay. We were talking about that yesterday. Remember, what does fluency refer to? Do you remember? Let me see. Mm. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> okay, thank you. What happened is that uh, I don't remember if the answer is ability to continue to com to maintain a conversation. I don't remember very well. No, what this is asking you remember when they ask you, look, you're going to in this section, you're going to be graded in your fluency so you have to set your mind and say okay um um okay so i am not don't don't worry about don't worry about the story you're going to say about the answer so if it says in this answer you will be evaluated in your fluency i would give a very basic answer because in fluency, what they want to hear is how fast and clear you speak. So that would be pace. The pace, yes. Mm. Your pace. Okay. But the correct answer for the platform, <laughs> it should be just the word pace or... Let's do this. Here, I'll just put it. I'll just show the answer. Hmm? So according to the platform, speaking with accuracy, natural speed, you see, it's not only one word. <laughs> no, but you see, this is the problem because if you put, I mean, this, I really don't like this. The mm -hmm. platform really wants you to put this. Mm -hmm. Who, who, I mean, this, this is, it is correct, but there are many different ways of saying this. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's, Speaking with accuracy and natural speed, you can say speaking clearly and fast. It's going to say, no, it's wrong because they want you to put this, but it's not correct. There's many ways of saying this. Okay. okay. So what we need to write, the the way how is right now with the platform? Oh, no, but this is not going to be in your TOEFL exam. Oh, no, no, but in order for us to be great yes, and good standing. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Mm. It would be nice if you copy and paste yeah, I'm, <laughs> in I'm the chat. Yeah, I'm going to do that right <laughs> Thank now. You. This complementary, thank you, teacher, complementary part in the platform. <laughs> I don't like it, believe me. Yes. What does speaking, what does the speak uh, speaking section measures? It measures the ability to convey ideas or it measures the ability to convey ideas. But what the answer is speaking. So when it's asking you when the they ability you... to convey ideas. Yes. Let me just try if it's correct. I just got ability to convey ideas and, and it's correct. And the other one, uh, I copy and paste what you said in the chat, but it's like incorrect. Yeah. Oh, it's one or the other, right? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. 
cool. You ah, see, one of the other, yes. Yeah, yeah uh, they mi they're missing the R here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got it. How long will you have to prepare your response? 15 seconds. Oh, that would be 15 seconds to prepare and 45 seconds one, yes. to speak. Yes. So yes. remember, don't complicate yourself. I mean, especially mm -hmm. with um with uh, fluency. Mm -hmm. So if example, someone tells you, tell me about yourself, don't complicate it. Say, I am a very happy man. I mm -hmm. love to eat chocolates and to drink coffee <laughs> you mm -hmm. know because if you say well i'm a i'm a married man i do like art i do like reading and this and that blah blah and then that could be a little complicated and remember you can give a very good interesting definition about yourself but all they want it's is your fluency. Seconds. yes and all they want to hear is your fluency so mm -hmm. I, would, I, I would say easy words easy sentences mm -hmm. You know, things, things they already know. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is David. I live in El Salvador. El Salvador is in Central America. In, in my house, we live three people. That would be my wife, myself, and my son. We have one car. I mean, just be, you know, you know, just speak easy. <laughs> because it's fluency. Mm -hmm. Okay. One. Next says, in which questions you will be presented with, in which questions, I guess that might, will you be presented? Question, questions two. My question two is the correct. With two situations or two opinions in question two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two scenarios. Mm -hmm. Mention the response, mention the response features which will help you get a better score. Answer, clear and fluid speech. Good pronunciation, natural pace. And good intonation. But like I said, I mean, you can say good fluency. Good fluency, good speed, good intonation. They're all good. Good speech, good pronunciation, natural things. What will you be evaluated on? Remember, so you will be evaluated on the delivery, language use, and the topic development. What do you think the delivery means? When you present your speech, mm -hmm. very language use. Yes, but I like, mm -hmm. like like a little bit more more specific because that's topic development. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, but what what is delivery? Delivery is talking about the subject that I ask it for. How, the way the, how you present your speech. Okay, yes, the way how you present the speech. The language. Teacher, sorry, but but can you can you copy the? Because, the number five, right? Because for me, it's not. See, the, and sometimes, also writing, the sometimes there are there are problems for one space, for one point, for one character. I don't know. Okay, I just sent that right now. In, in number six, I'm not able to see if there are commas, right? Commas, but a long space. <laughs> no, it's delivery, language use. No and comma? Topic... Oh, oh, let me copy paste right now, number six. Yeah, because... Okay, I'm... here's number six. Thank you, teacher. I don't know why it's not taking the... Yes, there are a mystery. Uh -huh. Because you write the same. And, exactly. And, yes. and, and it's bad. It is not true. There are some magic. 
that's the answer was right here where how do you put it also i've been thinking mm -hmm. once that maybe it's the the format the font is the name of the yes, letter right? yes the yes mm -hmm. the 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 original character there. Uh -huh. but you know what this problem will be forever oh, really because forever we've been trying to change it forever people have problems hey i put this and the platform is not letting me mm -hmm. so i always tell my students don't worry about the platform <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but you know some people some people especially in basic mm -hmm. well i think in everything some people i don't know why for some people it's more important to get this right and not understand Maybe also because if you don't achieve at least in the basic levels, the 80%, I don't remember if someone told me that the company charged the course to the student, something like that. Oh, okay. Well, I think that's depending on the company, I think. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. because I remember some uh, colleagues, some, some teammates, they were asking for, hey, give me this, give me that. <laughs> For that reason, because oh, the company okay. was charging back them if they don't achieve the goal. Oh, okay. But, you know, I I tell people, really, mm -hmm. you know, like, for example, my intermediate classes are basic. And I tell mm -hmm. them, what you're doing is wrong. It's bad. Because in English... For example, it's different to what David Samuel teaches. He teaches math. Mm -hmm. Really, I mean, there's a difference between algebra and basic math, you know, and geometry and, and everything. Mm -hmm. But in English, I don't know why people just prefer to go to the next level, to the next level, to the next level, and they don't understand. And the problem is, that the company assumes that you're learning. Exactly. And the problem is that after the company gets angry with Insaforp. Mm -hmm. And then the problem is that the Insaforp, we tell them, hey, I know who you're talking about. We can give you a list of videos and you will see they never participate. They have never mm -hmm. spoken. <laughs> Because after, usually people, they go and talk bad. Oh, man, people talk bad about me all the time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is our, this is a way that we have like a backup. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, they, and they tell me, hey, look, some people, oh, okay, look at the videos. Look any video, look at any video from for this week and tell me if you can find one video where they participate or they mm -hmm. turn on the camera. And then I don't need to say anything else because that's my backup. Exactly. But still, but still, like I said, I don't know why. Let me give an example. My wife, she she passed Lauka, she passed all the courses. But really, I wouldn't have passed her. I would keep my wife maybe in intermediate. Oh, okay. Because she she does speak good. But no, she kept on passing and passing and, and passing. And, you know, I tell my wife, don't pass. Stay there because if you don't understand this topic, how are you going to understand the next one? Every topic gets more difficult. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. But, you know, and I, I always tell that to people and people just say, yes, yes, yes. But the majority never listen. You know, I do understand if you're working, maybe you're driving, maybe you're coming from on the bus. I understand that you work. But what I don't understand is that you don't chat, you don't come, you don't, you don't even participate chatting. Mm -hmm. If you can't, if you don't have a camera, okay, talk. If you don't have a microphone, okay, chat. But some people don't don't put cameras, don't chat, and don't speak. They yeah. don't interact. Sorry, yes. the way how you make sure. So this if people, interested or not. exactly, and these people are the ones that I always ask myself: Do you really say that you're taking TOEFL? Because if you say that you're in TOEFL, 
people are going to assume you speak very well. Man, you're in TOEFL. Wow, that's that's good. So when and when they start when you start speaking, they will hear that you can't speak very well. And what do you think? They're gonna say, Where did you study? Oh, in Insafor. Quedamos mal en Insafor. Because nobody will ever be honest. Yes, I'm in TOEFL, but I have como three meses that I just log in and I just listen, but I don't participate. Nobody's honest. <laughs> you know? And like I said, I mean, I understand if somebody's working, if somebody's on the bus, if if you have bad connection every day, I mean, there's a problem. I go, go to your uncle's house or go to a different house just for that hour. <laughs> yeah. Because at the end of the of the uh, when every time I finish a class, we hear all the feedback, and all I say is, "Hey, just look at the videos. Mm -hmm. Tell me if that person participates or not." And then, okay, number nine, protest. Query our examples, key phrases too. No, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. We're number seven, right? Seven, number seven. Huh? Mention two tasks which will help you write your essay. Mm -hmm. The outline. And choose words. Yeah. What would you write for an outline? Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> hey. Maybe I would take as an example a, a news for that day. Something like that. Yeah. I would write the five W's, really. I would put the what, okay. when, where, why, who. Okay. Like, imagine you listen to this news. Mm -hmm. the, the president of El Salvador traveled to United States to sign a contract for Google to move over to El Salvador and represent Central America. Google will mm -hmm. have the connections now in Central America at the beginning of next year. This is a great achievement for a Latin America, blah, 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 blah. Now, write mm -hmm. the essay. You must go, shit. So a quick reminder, I would write what, when, where, why, who? What? President, Salvador, Google. Hmm. Where? Mm -hmm. San Francisco, California. When? Next year. Why? You know, because it's a good um, achievement for Central America. You know, and then by mm -hmm. by writing that outline, it's like okay, now you you now, and then you will remember the idea. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how long they give to the students to write the essay. We will see that today. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Okay, now bear out, verify, vindicate our examples of key phrases to support, mm -hmm. support that is reading. Good. Challenge the reading. Next, Next. Pro protest, query our examples of key phrases to. Challenge. Challenge the reading. Challenge the reading, yes. Mention the academic subjects the lecture or reading may be about. Remember the readings that we did? We did about life science, social mm -hmm. science, physical science, and humanity. Things that we never talk about in normal life. That's why it was very complicated. So mention the subjects and lectures we may read about. I think we, we need to about... use the word like science. Ah, okay. Like mm -hmm. science. Copy and paste, please. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Ah, life. I, I so like. <laughs> no, life science. Uh-huh. For that reason, I was, why we need to write like? <laughs> my God. My glasses. I need to clean them. <laughs> here, so let's see here again. So section one was about reading. Mm -hmm. Reading section. 
Yeah. It was mostly about videos. Let's see. So intro to reading. Preparation course. What was the intro to reading? Let's see if we remember. Welcome. This is TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this course, you will find challenges of reading, about the reading section, two types of questions, and practices about the reading types. All right. So, first one, challenges of reading in TOEFL. What is a challenge of reading? It is... Challenges of reading. When we take the TOEFL test, we need to know some strategies that will help us overcome some challenges. For example, you need to be familiar with the type of questions, pay attention to the number of questions, and skimming and scanning will help you deal with more difficult questions. Okay, so this is very good. It's telling you what are the challenges of reading for a TOEFL exam. So it's giving you suggestions. You, you will have many challenges, but what did she say here? These are suggestions that are very good. The type of questions. Pay attention to the number of questions. Okay, pay attention to the type of questions. The number of questions. Oh, man. This is crazy today. Challenges of reading that will help us overcome some challenges. For example, you need to be familiar with the type of questions. So what this is saying is that reading is challenging. And to overcome this challenge, get familiar with the question. Pay attention to the number of questions. Number and of scheming questions. and scanning will help you deal with more difficult questions. Scheming and scanning, it's the same thing, yeah? Scheming and scanning will help you deal with more difficult questions, okay? So, so in TOEFL, no va a haber una cosa que diga, okay, class, today's challenges of reading. No, in TOEFL, it's just going to tell you, okay, now the reading part. Okay. Okay. So challenges of reading is from Insafort. That is advice they're giving you. Do you understand challenges? Los desafíos de lectura. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yes. Wait, next. Next. Siempre en el tema. Okay, the reading part. Let's see the reading about the reading section. About the reading section. The reading section on the TOEFL test measures your ability to understand written academic English. It is not necessary for you to have prior knowledge about the topic in order to answer the questions. <laughs> yeah, right. So really... <laughs> It's not necessary for you to have proper knowledge, but it's kind of difficult because it's academic English. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're studying about life, science, astronomy, things that we really don't speak about every day. Mm -hmm. But it's saying here, it's not necessary for you to have knowledge. Yes, it's not necessary. But sometimes if we don't understand the words, it's, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. yes. Now it says a negative factual information questions and factual information questions. You will not see this. You will not see this in TOEFL. TOEFL will not say, okay, the negative factual questions. No, they assume you already know. Mm -hmm. So this is helping you to understand what is a, what is a negative factual question. 
if you want to study more, we can just Google it. So a negative factual questions, questions that are similar to factual information. Questions, except that they're asking the test taker to do the opposite thing. Instead of choosing one answer that is correct, they must select the answers that are incorrect. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So negative factual, negative factual information questions. These questions ask you to verify what information is true and what information is. Oh, it's not true. Why is there a period there? Okay, it's, okay, I'm sorry, let me start. Type two, negative factual information questions. This questions ask you to verify what information is true and what information is not true or not included in the passage based on the information that is specific, specifically stated in the passage. So remember, remember the, the, what I told you about the president went to went to San Francisco for the Google, blah, 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 blah. Imagine that was a reading. And did I say, did I mention a place? Yes, the city. Yes, I mentioned San Francisco. I mentioned Central America. I mentioned this. Did I mention a date? When will start next year? February next year. I guess. Ah, so I, but I didn't mention a date. I mentioned a time. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see, these are the things that, you know, that can confuse you. Mm -hmm. So if they tell you, um, for example, if they start speaking in the question about the date, it's not true because I didn't mention that. Mm -hmm. So imagine there's a question like, when ex uh, in what month will they be starting? And what month did he say he was going to start? Didn't mention that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hmm. Let's hear the video. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this first course, we will show you two types of reading questions, negative factual information questions and factual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so, or you may play this audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. Okay, negative factual information questions ask you to recognize the information that is specifically stated in the text. Facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Except that one answer being true, three of the four answers are, I'm sorry, one answer being true. Three of the four answers are true and you have to determine which one is false. So for you, once again, negative factual questions, recognize information that is specifically stated in the text. So si yo pongo, the president of El Salvador traveled to San Francisco on his private jet. He signed a contract with Google for Central America. Operations maybe start next year. This is a great opportunity for Latin America, which is true in, in, in the, the conversation I told you, imagine it's a reading, okay? <laughs> so which is true and which is not true? The private. <laughs> Jed, you said? 
Yes, private plane. Mm -hmm. Maybe he did travel on a private plane, which I'm very sure, but I didn't mention that. Uh -huh. They didn't mm -hmm. mention that in the news. Mm -hmm. I just mentioned that he traveled. So that's my negative factual information. Entonces, bien contradictivo, negative factual, because factual is que los hechos están. A fact. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. But negative is it's not true. Okay, so let me see. Um, did you listen to Dennis' story about the rookie? Which story you said? Remember at the beginning of the class, Dennis told the class that he was starting to uh, watch the rookie. Mm -hmm. The TV show, do you remember? Yes, some some parts of okay. the conversation. So David, uh tell me which is the negative factual information if what Dennis said is a reading. Dennis started watching the rookie recently. He is in episode five. He is watching it with his wife, and he watches it in English. Which is true and which is not true. I think he didn't tell in what episode he was watching on. I think he, he told that to start watching the key and her wife, his wife, was with him and like it too, something like that. Mm. Okay, good. In <laughs> Tofu, claro it, TV, claro no. TV, I guess. But he yes. didn't mention that he was watching the episodes in English. Exactly. He did mention he was in episode five. Yes. Yeah. He, he did mention it was in Claro TV with his wife, but he never mentioned if it was in English or Spanish he was watching it in. Mm -hmm. So I gave part of the, um, part of my negative factual information, part was true. But part was not true because he didn't mention. Mm -hmm. Bien raro, es, sería entonces un hecho negativo. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yes. Yeah, something like that, right? Okay. So I think that part's going to be easy on the reading. So remember what the lady said? Count the questions. Read the questions. So maybe the question puede ser, my question could be like this. What did Dennis say? Or what did, what didn't Dennis say about the rookie? So that's why in the previous video is telling you Pay special attention to the question. All right. For negative factual information questions, look for the words not or except in capital letters. So now the previous was negative factual information. Now it's a negative factual information questions. So how do we know when it's a negative factual information questions if he says not or accept? So my correct question would be, si usted ven, yo digo, Dennis said he watched, no, Dennis stated he is starting to watch The Rookie. He said he's watching The Rookie, except that. Dennis, in the reading, Dennis mentioned he watches The Rookie, except. He doesn't watch it alone. He doesn't watch it in English. He doesn't 
watch it every day. He doesn't watch it um, continuously. Mm -hmm. So when you see accept, uh oh, I have said, uh oh, ¿cuál es el hecho negativo? <laughs> okay, so you understand? So in grammar, yes. that is that is a negative factual question. When 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 you read when the question asks you to mention something that is not relate that it was not mentioned, maybe the idea was mentioned but it really was not mentioned on the reading or on the speech, it will say no except. So I'm going to give you an example. Lo voy a hacer hablado porque we can't do it. Reading because. <laughs> okay, here's an example. Listen to my story and imagine it's a reading. Tomorrow, I have to do many things. I have to go visit my family. I have to go pay some bills. And I have to return an item that I bought today. Because it was not working well. It's going to be a long day. So in the reading, David mentioned what he was going to do tomorrow, except he's going to visit his family. He's going to do errands. He's going to return an item he bought and get his money back because it wasn't working. And it's going to be a busy day. So in the reading, David mentioned all that except what? The one. Personal oh. errands. I did mention personal errands. Oh. You didn't mention that you will be getting the money back. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. I mentioned that I was going to return an item because it wasn't working. Yeah. But I never mentioned I want my money back. Mm -hmm. Maybe there, maybe I will receive a different item, you know? Mm -hmm. Very good. That was some very good uh, listening, Dennis. Do that in the reading. <laughs> Remember, do that in the reading. Now, I'm oh. going to give you another example, but hoy le voy a dar las opciones primero. In the reading, David said he will buy candies. Uh, vegetables. Lactose. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Of that. So then, because I have to, then I have to make the answer. So in the reading, David said he's going to go to the supermarket and he's going to buy everything. He's going to buy lactose. He's going to buy fruits, vegetables, and meat. But he's not going to buy feminine hygiene products because he doesn't understand which one his wife needs. And it's difficult for him. Okay. Hey, si mujeres no nos hagan eso a los hombres. Cuando uno dice, mira cuando ves el super, compréme toallas. Okay. For a man, <laughs> for a man, you know, we go y cuando vamos, it's like, oh my God, a la sin a la noche, super no tu. Con aloe, con. You know, come on, man. Be more specific. Es bien chistoso porque todos los hombres lo van a ver en el teléfono. Mira. 
Which ones do you need? Es como mandar a una mujer mirando a la, a la ferretería y comprarme clavos. Y cuando uno va, mira dónde están los clavos. De cuál quiere, de ocho cuartos, de un cuarto, de bla, bla, bla. <laughs> okay, so in the reading, David mentioned he's going to go to the supermarket and he's going to buy everything, but he's not going to buy, he's not going to buy hygiene products because he doesn't understand. He's not going to buy He's not going to buy lactose products. He's not going to buy meat or he's not going to buy hygiene products for his wife because he doesn't understand that. Mm -hmm. Which is the correct one? Is it the first one, second, third, or fourth? I think is the 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 buy of the sausage for the wife. Okay, so but listen, negative factual informations. I said everything, but I said I will not buy something for a reason. But it was a trick because I said David said he will not buy hygiene products. Y la otra era, David said he will not buy hygiene products for his wife because he doesn't understand. Y la primera era, he, he's not going to buy hygiene products because he doesn't understand. So, ¿cuál, cuál de ahí no dije? Mm -hmm. The third one? Actually, it's the first one. The first one. Yes, because I never said I'm not going to buy hygiene products. Hygiene products can be for men, women, babies, animals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never, I, I was very specific. I said, I'm not going to buy hygiene products for women because I don't understand. Yeah, I know that was kind of difficult porque la, la inventé ahorita, pero I gave you two examples that were similar. So one David said he's not going to buy hygiene products because he doesn't understand. And the second is, David said he's not going to buy hygiene products for women because he doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. So which one did I say? The one that I did say is David said he's not going to buy hygiene products for women because he doesn't understand. Pero nunca dije, I'm, he's not going to buy hygiene products. Porque si lo digo así, estoy generalizando. Hygiene products in general. Okay. So look, this is what I'm going to do tomorrow during the day. I promise I will do my best. I'm going to see if I can get some readings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we can read them and make some questions regarding for, for the TOEFL. Okay. Okay. That would be good. Awesome. So then I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye-bye. Night. Same to you. Bye-bye.